Have you ever known someone who is radically passionate about something? I'm not talking about someone who maybe has a favorite football team or is a fan of some type of hobby. I'm talking about someone who is so passionate about something that that their entire life is devoted to it. They're so consumed with it that it dictates every aspect of their life. Their words, their thoughts, their actions, and even their priorities. I cannot think of anyone who fits this description better than the Lord Jesus Christ. But what was he passionate about? People. From creation all the way to the cross, and even now, God has declared and continues to show that he is passionately pursuing a relationship with every man, woman, and child. This truth is simple, yet profound. God loves people. He proved it. Now the question that we have to ask ourselves is do we love people the way God does? Do we love what God loves? Are we passionate about showing the love of God to others as it was shown to us? Let's face it, it's pretty easy to say, I love God and feel pretty good about ourselves. But but let's ask this question too. Do I really love what God loves? Am I passionate about what he is passionate about? There are many ways we can seek to apply this thought, but here are two ways real quick. First of all, am I passionate about pointing people to Jesus Christ? You see, if we say we love God, one way of showing that is by stewarding the relationships that we have as a means to point people to salvation in Christ. Imagine for a moment, If your spouse or close friend, for those of you who are not married, never or rarely ever showed an interest in what you are passionate about, maybe they still love you. But think how much deeper their love would be if they showed it by taking an interest in what you're passionate about. Our relationship with God is no different. One of the greatest ways we can show our love to God is to be passionate about pointing people to Him. Secondly, we can show it by treating others as we have been treating as we have been treated. Ephesians 4:32 emphasizes this truth. It says, "And be ye kind one to another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another." Well, why? Because that's just what we're supposed to do as Christians or because it's the right thing to do? Well, look at the verse again, and it continues to say that even as God for Christ's sake hath forgiven you You see, God intends for us to reciprocate his love to those around us. And we do that through our kindness, our tenderheartedness, and a forgiving spirit towards others. Back at the beginning of this video, I asked you if you knew someone who was so passionate about something that it dictated every aspect of their life. The question we must ask ourselves each day is, is my love for God such that it dictates every area of my life? my choices, my thoughts, my words, and my priorities. You see, the enemy of loving God is loving self. The enemy of loving others is loving self. And if we're going to claim to love God, let it be seen by us being passionate, devoted, and surrendered to loving what God loves.